Well, good morning from Little Brother Lake. It is 5.30 a.m. It's about 11 degrees here and there's lots of fog rolling off the lake. Looks absolutely beautiful. All right, I have taken to the canoe. Got my fishing rod and a beautiful heron right up here on the, the point. He was silhouetted, but he moved. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, I'm out here fishing, and the fish are just jumping all around me, but they're not biting. Beautiful sunrise here on Little Brother Lake. So peaceful. I got a fish on the line. I think it's a good size. It's underneath my boat right now. Oh, it's a yeah. It's a good size. I gotta get it in the boat when I got all this stuff sitting here. It's a bass, I think. Definitely keeping it. I'm having fish for breakfast. I don't care. breaking. Oh yeah, it's a good size. On my shoe. Got a fish. Got a fish. I haven't caught a fish in so long. I'm not sure what to do. I'm like shaking. Okay. I could try to catch some more now. I thought there was a saying that if the fish are jumping, they're not biting, but they're jumping and they're biting, so that's cool. I guess that wasn't true. Well, it's 8.35, I'm still out here fishing. I've been out here since like quarter to six. Um, I've gotten maybe two or three nibbles. Might, might even be on the high end there saying that. Um, and the fish I caught, that's it. So um, the recent ones was just when I was filming there. So I want to try a few more casts and I am absolutely starving. I still have to go back and get the bear of all to make, to make breakfast and I'm so hungry. Um, so, and I still have to clean the fish. I'd like to clean the fish before I go to camp. I don't want to like 
have it sitting at camp, right? Um, so I'm going to cast just a few more because, um, like I said, I just got a couple of bites recently. And uh, if I don't catch anything else, then I'm going to go clean the fish over here somewhere and then head to camp for breakfast. Strawberry and chocolate chip pancakes today. Yeah. Oh, with bacon. And Bailey's makes a return of my hot chocolate. Yeah. I had to tie him. It was a good thing because I walked away and he started flopping trying to go in the water. Okay. It's been a long time since I cleaned a fish. The knife is not very sharp. I think I brought the wrong one. I have two. One's sharp and one's not. This is the knot. The surface is not exactly flat, and it's giving me a bit of a hard time. All right, good size fillet. For the record, I'm not on my campsite. I'm way across, well, it's a little lake, but I'm on the other side of the lake from where my campsite is, so. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I think I did that in under 10 minutes, which I think the last time I cleaned a fish, it took me like, I don't know, a half an hour or 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm excited. I have two nice sized fillets. I still have the cooler bag with the ice. Uh, I just put the wine in it last night because I figured if an animal's going to take that, whatever. Um, but it's in two Ziploc bags and then in the cooler bag and then hanging from a tree. So um, I'm going to put the fillets in there with the bag of ice and uh, leave it there until lunch. Hopefully nothing comes and steals it. All right, I'm just hanging out in the bug shelter. Not that I really need to because um, the bugs aren't that bad, actually. I mean, they're a little bit bad back in the forest by the privy, but out here seems to be pretty good. Um, just made some boiling water and I'm making a hot chocolate and uh, today we have the return of Bailey's which I have missed dearly. I haven't had a bottle in ages. Um, I ran out somewhere around Christmas time or New Year's and I just didn't buy any more. Um, so I finally got some the other day. My liquor store actually is kind of like running out of booze. Uh, because all the tourists come there before they go on their to their cottages and stuff and um, I went to go get some Malibu last week when I went to get the Baileys and they don't have any more Malibu they're out of Malibu so that was pretty bad um, in the meantime I have put some water in here this is a bag of strawberries uh, dehydrated strawberries so I'm just rehydrating these and uh, I'm gonna sit here and have my Baileys and hot chocolate. Cheers to you. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good even though it's like getting really hot. I can't believe I was cold this morning. Like it's like already toasty toasty warm out here. Mm, yes, that is good. So today I am making um, pancakes. <laughs> I just thought I'd do something different. I always make eggs and uh, I thought oh, this time I'll make some pancakes. So Got some pancake mix in here. This is the kind you just add water. Um, brought some chocolate chips. And I have the strawberries. And when I went on my trip with Zamie, um, she brought me some pancake syrup. This is like the little ones you get at the restaurant, but I never go anywhere where 
I would get pancake syrup, so she said I could have them. So I probably only need one, but I've got that. And I also pre-cooked a couple of slices of bacon. There were four, but one of them got all crumbled up and broken, and so I thought it would be really good in my pasta tonight. Um, so I put that back in the, the food barrel, and I'm gonna heat up those three slices of bacon and have them with my pancakes. Oh, that has got to be one of the ugliest pancakes I've ever made. I went to pour the batter in and as I was pouring it, I realized it was too thick. Um, so I tried to kind of like flatten it out with my spatula and then it got stuck to the pan. So anyways, I've just kind of cleaned out the pan as best as I can for now. And uh, I'm going to make the second one. Oh dear. All right, that one's a lot better. Um, that one came out pretty perfect, so um, strawberries are in it. I always add the chocolate chips after I flip it. Uh, that way it doesn't mess up the pan. Well, it's 10.30. My breakfast is ready. I cannot wait to eat it. It looks so good. Got this beautiful view to enjoy while I'm having my breakfast this morning. Nice breeze. And uh, it's just gorgeous here on Little Brother Lake. Yum. Pancakes and bacon. Guess what time it is? It's hammock time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, that was a little MC Hammer joke. Anyway, um, it's 11.30 and I am zonked. Uh, when I got up at five o'clock this morning to use the privy, I did not intend to uh, follow that with getting in the canoe and going fishing all morning and not getting back to camp till 9.30. So I'm ready for a nap. I didn't sleep very much last night. So I'm gonna have a little snooze here in my hammock probably. I'm sitting here watching the birds. There's like a couple of herons that are flying together and they were kind of like fighting or maybe they're mating, I don't know. It's really cool. I saw uh, some eagles. Uh, yes, I saw more than one. I saw one earlier this morning and I saw another one a little while ago. Um, it's just beautiful here. It's very quiet and peaceful. And I'm just going to sit back and relax. Hi! <laughs> well, it's quarter after two and uh, had a little nap in the hammock. I actually had a hard time getting up. I was just so tired, but... I know I have to eat something for lunch, otherwise I'm just going to kind of be hungry all day. Um, I was going to actually make the fish for lunch, but because there was still ice in the cooler bag when I put it in this morning and it's really cold, uh, I decided to leave it for dinner. So um, I was going to make a, a shrimp pasta for dinner. Uh, I brought a can of shrimp and some noodles and stuff. Uh, but I also brought two potatoes yesterday to make the... Uh, to make the potatoes on the fire and I thought well why not just bake it I have butter um, or cook them how I cooked them yesterday and then have the fish for dinner with it so I've decided to do that <laughs> so for lunch today I've prepared my little uh, platter I've got some kielbasa there's some salami here German salami now inside of it um, it's rolled up with the uh, ha 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 moo cheese and then I have some two-year-old cheddar and some corn chips. So I'm just gonna snack on this and enjoy my beautiful view. So vaguely in my mind, I recall when I was uh, planning this trip with Sue the first time we came here in September, um, we noticed that there were two ways in. There's a 650 meter portage, which I did yesterday. And there's a little creek that goes in here without having to do the portage. Now, when we came in September, obviously the water was really low because uh, the creek that I went through yesterday was like totally dried up and we had to like portage pretty much through it and it was all sucky muck and dried up. Um, but it's not now. So I'm wondering if tomorrow when I leave, I can get out through that creek and avoid the, doing the portage. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow to find out. <laughs> Um, and I'm just sitting around here doing nothing. I was going to go for a swim, but I think I'm going to go for a paddle over there and see if I can find it and see if I can get through. Well, that was a very successful mission. Uh, I went through the first way on the map and it was a dead end. And then I saw another way around, so I went and tried that. And um, 
as I was paddling up to the entrance, four boats came out. <laughs> and there were two people kayaking and I asked them if um, they could go through to Big Hawk and they said, yep, yeah, that's where they came from. And they said there's a couple of little shallow spots, but it's uh, wide open and easy to get through mostly. So that's pretty awesome. That means tomorrow I don't have to do a portage. So this is pretty much what across the lake looks like up close. Just a boggy swamp. Over there's my campsite. Right there. Well, it's really, really hot and sunny out and uh, got a little bit of sun left on my rock here. When I came back from my paddle, I wanted to go for a swim, but there's two boat full of guys on my lake now. And uh, I don't really feel comfortable going swimming in front of them. And plus I want to film it. So I guess I'm going to uh, start my fire so I can uh, get that potato cooked and I can make my fish and have my dinner. All right, no time I have a nice fire going. And uh, the potato is on and cooking. Well, it's six o'clock and I'm just now finally going swimming. I have no idea how it's taken me this long to get in the water. The day just kind of got away from me, um, but that's okay. The potato's almost cooked, so I'm gonna jump in now and get all refreshed before um, I cook the fish and have my dinner. was refreshing. Time for dinner. I've got my fish here. I've got my two fillets from this morning, the fish that I caught. Uh, I just took a little bit of fish crisp that I had and poured it in this bag here. Um, I just rinsed these off again just with the lake water just to make sure they're nice and clean. And uh, now I'm just kind of making sure that they're evenly coated. So I'm gonna go over to the grill. It took me a while to get it even. Um, I got some olive oil in there and then uh, gonna plop them in. Okay, fillet number one, woohoo! Hope it's hot enough. Oh yeah, it is. It's a little pan, I hope they both fit in there. One. Drinking the last of my wine tonight. Ended up being a, a full cup, that's it. So, not that much in a bottle of wine anymore these days. Sad. Mm. Okay, there we go. I got the fire going, it's sizzling nice. Go get my potato off, I think it's done. They're looking good. I'm gonna cook the snow peas. Uh, I kind of forgot about them, but hang on, I can get them on real quick. All right, all the things are cooking. Um, usually I just put the snow peas in the microwave at home for like 45 seconds um, with a little bit of water to steam them. So I just put some water in there and I'm kind of boiling them. I think they'll be done by the time I do the other things. So I'm gonna get my potato and uh, get that all prepared. I have some great toppings for it. And uh, then I'm gonna take off the snow peas and the fish and eat. I cannot wait. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful thing. Okay, so I had some leftover two-year-old cheddar and I had a little bit of bacon that I was going to put in the pasta today. So along with some butter, I put that all on the potato. Uh, I've got some nice snow peas and my beautiful two fillets of fish uh, from the fish that I caught this morning. Ah, what a great, great meal. I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat. I already tried the potato. I couldn't wait. Um, but I'm gonna try the fish now. There's my little nugget. I'm so excited. I hope it's good. Hmm. 
Looks pretty good for bass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Bye. I'm just sitting here enjoying the fire. Uh, I just took the bug shelter down. Um, wasn't really that buggy last night. Uh, so, plus I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, the plan is, of course, <laughs> there's no plan, but you know, I always say, oh, I'll take my time, I'll do this, I'll do that, but I'll probably wake up to use the privy super early and pack up and leave. Um, there's a marina involved, it's a really busy one, and tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, so it's kind of, I, I really like, uh, having Fridays off because I can go Thursday night, Friday night, and then get out of here before it gets too crazy busy. Just laying here in my hammock, reading my book. Loons are calling. It's a beautiful night. It's still warm out, but it's not stifling. And, uh, got Mirror Lake. Just beautiful here. Good morning from Little Brother Lake. It is 5.20 a.m. on Saturday. Well, it is 10 to 7. The sun is up, and so am I. <laughs> I am all packed up, got the canoe fully loaded, and ready to go. Um, I know it's kind of early. I decided not to have breakfast. Um, I had some chocolate covered almonds last night and they didn't go so well for my stomach. So um, I've got two granola bars uh, in my pocket um, to eat on the way out. But I mean, I only have an hour and a half drive home. Uh, it's probably going to take me, I don't know how long because I've never gone this way, but I'm estimating like an hour max to get out. Big hair and another one just flew out in front. <laughs> Beaver was coming up, but then he ducked under. <laughs> I'm just about to head down the creek here that I've never been down. I'm kind of excited to see something new. Um, supposedly this creek is going to take me to Big Hawk Lake. Well, I'm just making my way through the little creek that I never got to paddle down before. It's really, really pretty here. And um, I'm glad I remembered about it so I don't have to do that portage today. Not that it's a big deal, it's only 650 meter, it's good practice. Um, but really great trip, great weekend. Um, I like to mix up my trips as much as possible. You know, I love, like my, my passion is really doing like, you know, the five, six, seven, I'd love to do more if I had time off of work. Um, tripping trips, going from place to place and like, doing a bunch of portages and just exploring areas and you know feeling like I'm the only one out there or, or the first one to ever see something even though I know I'm not um, and these trips are great too you know I love to uh, come out and relax and enjoy myself and do some fishing and just like take my time and that's fun too so I try to mix it up canoeing kayaking you know all different kinds of trips um, so that I can, you know, do all the things I love. Um, so, anyways, uh, next weekend I am heading out. It's August long weekend, and I'm heading out to do Florence Lake and Tomogamy. I'm really stoked about that. And uh, I have a big trip in the works for um, Labor Day. Uh, I hope it pans out. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. So, hopefully that pans out.
Well, I'm just exiting the creek and uh, now on a big hawk lake. Got a little family of uh, ducks here coming towards me. Hi guys. So cool. Bye. <laughs> well, it's 7.45 on Saturday morning and I am just passing the little bay where the portage is. Um, it was a very lovely, lovely detour. It took me just about an hour to paddle from the site on Little Brother to back to the marina where my car is parked. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> just coming up to the takeout at the marina. There's uh, two speedboats here. One of them was here yesterday when I got here. And uh, a jeep just pulled up with a canoe on it, which I'm assuming they're starting their backcountry trip today. So not busy at all, which is the way I like it and why I left so early. All right, it's 10 after 8. I've got the canoe on the car all loaded up and I'm ready to head home. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.